Welcome, Wesley Gospel fans. Uh, I'm going to uh, uh, review my first week of day trading, which was extremely stressful. Um, and uh, I didn't make any profit. Oh, man. And unless, of course, you, you, you uh, consider a quarter profit. I might have made a quarter, uh, maybe, maybe 50 cents along the way. Um, but uh, the amount of knowledge I have about this subject is very, very surface level. Um, I subscribe to Bear Bull Traders, um, the $200 a month version. I'm probably going to drop my subscription and I'm not going to continue it into the second month simply because Bear Bull Traders <sighs> Is very confusing. They have tons and tons of trading strategies and oftentimes they contradict each other. Um, the people just sound confused, um, like they don't really, not really sure of themselves. Um, however, there was one or two tidbits that I got from um, Bear Bull Traders that I was able to implement and make that 50 cent profit um, that that I made this this week. Um, now you might say, "Wow, 50 cents! Geez, John, that's a lot." If if you're talking in day trading terms, yes, that is a lot. However, um, I didn't I didn't put a lot into it. <laughs> it's not like I I, I made I, it's not like I put ten thousand dollars into a stock and it went up 50 cents. Now, if I did that, I would have made a pretty good amount of money. But no, what I actually did was I just tested the program out to see how this whole thing works. I was just testing the the um, the, the performance of the stocks and um, the trailing stop features. I put normally I put my trailing stops at uh, 0 0.05 PTS or five cents. So um, if if the stock went red, it nose dived. Um, even just a nickel underneath my current. So if I bought a stock share, and I would only buy one share usually, because um, I just wanted to see how this thing worked, you know, I, without wanting to lose my money, right? So if I bought a share that was $67.38, um, then $67.38 minus a nickel is sixty-seven dollars and thirty-three cents. So a trailing stop um, uh, at 0 0.05 PTS, that's uh, one nickel underneath, means that if it went down even a nickel, it would automatically sell the share and I wouldn't lose the money. Okay, so I, I was able, I think this week I probably bought and sold in the area of 60 different stocks. Um, and um, and I did not decrease my principal. I probably spent a total of three dollars this week because the trailing stops at five cents protected me from. Um, no, a serious strategic day trader is probably not going to be using five cent trailing stops all the time. However, I am at this point because I'm hyper conservative and I don't want to lose my money. I've already lost a good numbers of. Uh, dollars before making foolish decisions without stop loss orders, and I don't ever want to do that again. Um, the program that I've been using is called Street Smart Edge, which is a free uh, day trading app uh, that you download on your computer uh, from Schwab. And I've also been able to call up the Schwab customer service representatives, which again is free. Um, every time you make a stock, buy, or purchase, it's free. There's zero commissions. I love Schwab. Um, and so I've been able to experiment with day trading for an entire week, every single day. Um, and they've been there. Um, I've also been watching some videos to grab some ideas off of bearable traders. Okay, so what have I learned from bearable traders that's useful? Um, I've learned that... Um, what they call trading the open of the stock market at 9.30 in the morning and trading the close of the stock market at 3.30 in the afternoon are the top times of the day 
where there is volatile trading activity like a frenzy, normally around the stocks on the S&P 500. So if you're thinking about any other kinds of stocks, avoid them. Only consider the stocks in the S&P 500 is generally the rule because you're going to have uh, Christmas light acti frenzy activity, particularly in volume. Now, when you look, when you, if you create a watch list in uh, of say 100 stocks, your top 100 stocks taken from the S&P 500, hopefully these are stocks that you've put into inspireinsight.com and are clean in the Christian sense. Um, so to create a BRI S&P 500 watch list would be the first step. You plug all 500 of the stocks in the S&P 500 into inspireinsight.com, and if you find a clean one, you put it in the watch list of Street Smart Edge. So that's what I've been usually using. Um, keep in mind, most of these stocks are anywhere in the vicinity of $30 to as much as $600 a share. So that should give you an idea of how much money you should have in your, I would honestly say this, don't don't try doing this unless you have at least $5,000 in your um, in your joint tenant account. Because my understanding is that that's to play, to play, if you really get to the point where you're confident enough in a day trading strategy, that's the kind of money that you need to sit into the stock. And um, how much, how, how long do you sit it in the stock is up to you, but um, that's what I'm learning right now, is that you can transfer uh, an amount of several, several thousand into the stock, and you watch the graph to see what's going to happen, and you watch it really, really closely. Now, there is a type of graph that Street Smart Edge has, which is very standard in day trading, uh, terminology and it is called a candlestick chart. Now this is something that I had to get used to today, uh, used to this week, and um, very stressful, first time using it. But you want to uh, the ideal with this sort of thing is to have a, from what I understanding, my understanding is currently, is that you want to adjust the candlestick chart to the one minute chart, okay, and uh, the car, technical use of this thing will take time, but um, you call up Schwab customer service, they'll show you everything. Um, this enables you to see the most granular level of trading activity going on in that stock. There are um, several false signals um, and one true signal that I have discovered this week in buying and selling a stock based on the candlestick uh, action, okay? So when you see a candlestick chart, if you type in green candlestick or for a candlestick chart, sometimes I think they call this a doji, D-O-I-G, D-O-J-I, it's a Japanese word. And um, you're looking for that one minute green candlestick. This is called, this method is called scalping. Scalping is stock. You are looking for that green candlestick vertical bar chart, uh, green candlestick to pump up. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, and if it pumps up two or three times really, really fast and doesn't hesitate, it doesn't sit there, but it pumps up quick, boop, boop, boop. You, you, you click buy right in the moment that it hits up that second or third time, and most likely it will go up just a little bit further into the green, and then you can sell it, and now you made a profit. And it, it usually the profit is a five cent range, but if you get lucky, sometimes it'll hit 10 cents or, or even 20 cents and over. And um, if you if you have a lot of shares in that, you could make, you know, depending on the price of the, the share, uh, you could make anywhere from as small as $50 in five seconds to $300 in five seconds. But you've got to get lucky, you know. Um, there are a lot of little short uh, little uh, green candlesticks that are just false signals. And this is the thing 
you can't let this thing play, make, let your eyes play tricks on you when you're looking at these things. Otherwise, you're going to lose your opportunity to trade, um, to, tr to, to make profit off of that green candlestick. Uh, now, before you get all freaked out, we're not talking about you risking your money. Okay. You, every time you're ready to make a trade, you have pre-programmed uh, uh, what is called a trailing stop at 0 0.05 PTS. That means that if that thing goes even five cents below what you bought it at, it will automatically sell the share out and you preserve your money minus five cents. Okay, so don't worry. And when it said, when I say five cents, I mean five cents off the share that you bought. I don't mean five cents in the value of the stock. Okay, um, so you're really only losing a nickel if it goes into the red. That's it. That's all you lose. Um, so uh, um, it's a very, very low risk way to learn day trading uh, through putting a nickel trailing stop and scalping the green candlestick charts on the one month uh, on the on the one minute um, so there are at least three buy signals that are false if you see a green candlestick and it's just a short little candlestick and it just sits there and it doesn't do anything that's not a signal to buy but you should have your finger on the uh, review order button ready to click you know when you click review order or place order that's you know with your mouse that's when you're ready to buy that thing so you're waiting for that you see it's almost like a game really it's almost like an arcade game in a sense uh, but uh, um, you're waiting for that thing to give you the right signal so if it stays as a green bar and it just sits there I call that hesitation. Hesit if it hesitates, it's not a signal. Now, if it goes up one, that's not a signal either. Because oftentimes you'll find that the green bar goes up one, and it goes down one again. It's like, well, what's that? He can't make his mind. Uh, right. So that means that the trading activity is only kind of like halfway. Like there's there's only uh, 100 shares being bought in that moment, and 100 and another equal amount of 100 shares being sold in that moment. So they're there's not enough pressure being put on the stock to go up like a geyser. You're looking for a use, uh, a Yellowstone Park. You're looking for a uh, old faithful geyser to be shooting up, right? Or it's like striking oil, right? He's shooting up. So if it's just going up a little bit and it's going down, it's going up a little bit and it's going down, that is not a signal to to buy into the stock just yet just just hold your horses because most likely that's going to turn red or maybe even go down red okay so don't buy that if now if it goes up two times point point that is a signal to buy but only if it does it fast so if it goes up uh green point point like that it buy it right there because most likely like 90 percent of the time it's going to go shoop into a really like a skyscraper type green uh, a candlestick okay if it goes up and especially if it goes up three times real fast like this point 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 that is a 100 percent buy signal you're going to make a profit if you see that little green uh bar go point 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 really fast i'm talking fast it, it won't be so fast that you won't be able to catch it but you have to be you have to have your finger on the button ready to buy when it goes boink, boink, boink real fast. When it goes boink, 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 boom, buy. But if it's slow, no. If it's moving real slow and it's like, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do, it's going to turn red. Don't buy it. All right. It has to go boink, boink, or it has to go boink, boink, boink really fast. Green up, up, up. And it will most likely at that point go shoom into a into a skyscraper of green pole upwards and you just made a profit you could make as much as seven cents profit you could make as much as uh, 17 cents or 25 cents or even a dollar 
Now, you might say, wow, that's not really a lot of money. Yeah, but in terms of stocks, it is. Because if you buy a lot of shares of that, if you have a lot of shares, if let's say you have as much as 100 shares that you're ready to buy when you click buy in that stock. Well, the multiplication happens. If you, if you have the taller that green pole is, the more profit you're going to make if you put a lot of shares into it. Now, don't buy on margin, okay? Puritans have been warning about this for 400 years. Don't buy on margin. Only trade your own money and only trade your own money that's in settled funds in the Schwab account. So if you don't have Schwab, call people up, ask the questions you need to ask. But you're looking for a boink boink and you're looking for a boink boink boink. Green vertical pole going up super fast. If you see that, there's your buy signal. Buy it. And then get ready to put it in sell order. And then put your put your finger on that mouse to sell it once it starts reaching a hesitation point, starts wiggling, being like, okay, that's the top of the tower. I better sell it, sell it. So you have to be like really on top of this thing and really be like interactive. You can't be lazy about it. You can't be like walking away from the computer. You have to be like, really, this is a trade that lasts no more than 30 seconds. This is a in and out. You're in the stock market and you're out. You are in and out. And it is, and if you really think about it, that's a very good way to manage the risk involved here, um, as is the trailing stop at five cents. That's where I'm at right now. Honestly, um, I find beer bowl traders to be very confusing. Um, but if you're new to the whole thing and you're willing to pay 200 bucks a month on them, then do it. Um, you know, I have a I have a beer bowl traders. Um, uh, notebook and it's got some good nuggets in there. I don't like everything they say though. A lot of it's very confusing. Um, I bought a book and I can't wait to get it. Um, it's out of the Wiley Trading Series, which is a Wiley, if you know, uh, is is like one of the top business um, book publishers, and they have a whole bunch of really great books on investing. They've got the Wiley Investment Classics, but they've also got those are more for like long term. 10 years stock investing. And then they've got the Wiley Trading Series, which is about what I'm talking about, where we're talking about day trading and using candlestick charts, and they've got books on that. So I just bought a book called, it's called a Profitable Candlestick Trading, I believe it's called. Or better get this right. And I feel like this is going to be a good one. If I, if I can learn how to use this thing properly, this book, um, I'll be able to hone my my candlestick stick, my candlestick skills better. It's called um, profitable candlestick trading, pinpointing market opportunities to maximize profits, by Stephen Bigelow. So this looks really authoritative. Um, it talks about scalping, like what I was talking about, playing those. Um, those vertical green bars and the candlestick charts. That's all I know right now. And um, I will continue to update as I learn valuable things along the way. Um, what are some of the takeaways here? Number one, uh, try to focus building a watch list off of the S&P 500 and save yourself a lot of time. Just the stock selection process alone is extremely stressful, and it shouldn't have to be, at least when it comes to trading. Because with trading, um, you're not really analyzing um, income statements and balance sheets. You're analyzing uh, price action on the chart and, and focusing on which time of day, like 9.30 in the morning, 3.30 in the afternoon. Um, it's, it's a whole nother ball game. trading is whole nother ball game. God bless you out there. This is John with WesleyGospel.com.